Why does the world work at all? Why do the lights turn on? Why do we have clean water that comes through our plumbing when it's working the way it should? How come we have roads and how come we have bridges that lift where they need to? Why does any of this function? It's because we have engineers. They're the ones that look at the math, look at the calculations and go, yes, this will work. And no, that definitely will not work. Today, I'll be going through a thread that looks at Bitcoin from an engineer's perspective. Today's thread is titled, Decoding the Bitcoin Energy Relationship, an Engineer's Perspective, Part 1, Energy Consumption. This is shared once again by the Bitcoin Therapist and authored by Ramulo. While Bitcoin was emerging as a monetary digital network, it was natural to assume that economists or coders would possess the deepest understanding. However, once you go deep into the rabbit hole, you'll discover something fascinating. Engineers like Michael Saylor, Lynn Alden, and Jason Lowry have actually played a crucial role in comprehending and explaining the technical aspects of Bitcoin. From an engineer's perspective, we often get asked about the energy consumption associated with Bitcoin. So today, I want to go deeper into this topic. We're going to get a little bit deeper into that as we go forward in this thread, but suffice to say, the energy that Bitcoin uses is a really good thing. It secures the network. The energy consumption in Bitcoin mining is directly proportional to the network's security. With 350 exahashes, Bitcoin is backed by more energy than the usage by the entire U.S. Navy and possesses more computer power than all all the other computers on Earth combined. Just think about that for a second. All of the energy that goes into the US Navy, all the ships, all the airplanes, all the naval bases, all of that is beaten by what is keeping the Bitcoin network operational. This makes Bitcoin the most powerful and secure computer network ever created Bitcoin mining and energy. It is true that Bitcoin mining consumes energy, but you first need to understand that this is not a bug of the system, but a feature. It's crucial to understand that the energy used in Bitcoin mining serves a fundamental purpose, securing the Bitcoin network. Think about this in terms of a fence that's protecting your home. If you have a nice little picket fence that is maybe waist high, how much energy went into creating that fence? Think about all the time and the energy that went into getting the wood for all those little pickets and the energy that went into getting the paint and then the time and the energy that went into building the fence and painting it and getting it there. It's, it's a decent amount. Now imagine you increased your energy consumption for that fence, the energy requirements of your fence by a hundredfold. It was a 10 foot thick, 20 foot tall with iron rods pumped into it, all spikes sticking out of it and an electrical current constantly pumping into it. It's this massive barrier. Which one is more secure? Now let's explore the mechanism behind this proof of work. POW. Proof of work, POW, is the underlying mechanism that ensures the security and integrity of the Bitcoin network. Miners solve complex mathematical problems through computational power, which requires energy. This process is integral to the Bitcoin ecosystem. The energy intensive nature of mining ensures that an attacker would need to control an exorbitant amount of computational power, which the current market cannot even supply, and an even more exorbitant amount of energy, which not even sovereign nations can have access to. Bitcoin mining incentivizes miners to use the most powerful technologies available. Over time, miners have been innovating and developing more efficient mining hardware, increasing the hash rate of the whole network and making it stronger and more resilient to attack. Renewable energy in Bitcoin mining. The Bitcoin community recognizes the importance of sustainability. Miners are actively seeking renewable energy sources to power their operations. Embracing renewable energy not only reduces environmental impact, but is also economic. Bitcoin mining has the potential to revolutionize energy markets by incentivizing the development and utilization of renewable energy sources. Miners can set up operations in regions with excess renewable energy, mitigating wastage and promoting sustainability. Energy redistribution and decentralization. Mining is geographically decentralized which means mining operations are spread across various locations worldwide. This leads to energy redistribution, reducing reliance on specific energy sources, promoting energy diversification. If you're in an area where there's a lot of water and water flow, and maybe it's a mountainous region, 
then hydropower might be something that is quite abundant in your area. But if you're in a completely different place and there's a lot of solar energy and there isn't all that much water, then solar is going to be your thing. For example, in the Pacific Northwest, there's a lot of rainfall. There's a lot of hydropower in the Pacific Northwest of the United States of America. But in Saudi Arabia and the Middle East, there's not nearly as much water and there's a lot more sun. And so this means that what's cheap over in one region of the world will not be cheap over in another part of the world. Getting solar energy in the Pacific Northwest, not a real great idea. And the same is true in, in reverse. There isn't going to be much interest, much investment into hydropower in the Middle East. Well, that doesn't even make sense. And that's not even to mention many of the other energy processes that can come about, like wind or nuclear or coal or whatever. There's all sorts of different ways to get energy and Bitcoin miners chasing the lowest cost of energy will incentivize people to find the lowest energy production wherever it can be found. Bitcoin mining creates economic opportunities, especially in regions with abundant, underutilized energy resources. By attracting mining operations, these areas can tap into new revenue streams and accelerate economic growth while promoting sustainable energy practices, energy storage, and grid flexibility. Bitcoin miners can play a pivotal role in energy storage and grid flexibility. By adjusting their energy consumption based on supply and demand, miners can help balance the grid and ensure optimal utilization of renewable energy sources. Bitcoin's potential as an energy driver. Bitcoin has potential to drive the development of renewable energy on a global scale. By incentivizing renewable energy solutions, Bitcoin can contribute significantly to mitigating climate change and building a sustainable energy future. Satoshi created a masterpiece of engineering, a digital asset devoid of equity risk, a digital commodity free from commodity risk, a computer network without inherent computer risk, a way to transform analog energy and store it into digital energy forever. And then he's got this famous quote from Satoshi right here. If you don't believe it or don't get it, I don't have the time to try to convince you. Sorry. Satoshi Nakamoto. Bitcoin's simplicity lies in its minimal moving parts, reducing the chances of failure, yet its power and profundity allow anyone in the world to connect to it. And the Bitcoin therapist, the publisher of this and many other threads, says, huge thanks to Ramulu for authoring this Bitcoin thread for prescribing Bitcoin BTC. This is our first of three threads he will be writing over the next few weeks, each one from his perspective as an engineer. In closing, if you haven't subscribed to Simply Bitcoin, definitely do that so you can stay up to date on everything that's happening in the Bitcoin space. We try to keep you informed, educated, and entertained at the same time. Also, like this video, comment below so we can get those ding ding bots out of here, and keep in mind that Bitcoin is many things to many people. It is a whole way for people that are typically unbankable to have access to money. Bitcoin is freedom tech. At the base of it, that is what it is. It is technology that promotes freedom in a number of varieties. So if you're into freedom and you like the idea of being a free person, then Bitcoin is right up your alley. But now you've got a couple of choices. Over here on the right, I'm talking about Joe Rogan and Tim Dillon and the collapsing economic system that we're in and how Bitcoin could very well be the answer to that dystopian future. And then over on the left, Rustin is talking about 60 nations potentially joining the BRICS. That might be something you want to check out as we get closer to that big August BRICS announcement.